Okay, in this video, I'd like to continue on with my tutorials on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 17, and I'm going to discuss product rule number 2. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysictutorials.com. So, in this video, what we're going to do is going to take the dot product, or the divergence, of a vector field um, made by multiplying a scalar function f by a vector field a. So, the whole thing is the divergence of this field, or we're going to take the dot product. So I've just defined my Nabla operator as normal, my a vector, and I've multiplied in my scalar f by our a vector. So what we need to do now is note, of course, that if we're taking the divergence or the dot product, we're going to get back a scalar field. Alright, so let's go ahead and calculate it. So what we're going to get is, we're going to get the, uh, we're going to take the divergence, of f times the vector field a that's going to be del del x times f a sub x plus del del y f a sub y plus del del z f a sub z. Notice of course that uh, we have no components. Now each of these is a product rule. So a product rule would say uv is going to be uv prime plus v prime u. If you want to take the derivative, we'll say dd, let's say x in this case, is going to be that. That's the product rule. So what we have is three product rules, which will give us, of course, six particular components. So just be, uh, I don't know, just be nice and slow when you do these, okay? So we're going to get f del del x a sub x plus a sub x del del x uh, of f plus... Uh, f times del del y of a sub y plus a sub y del del y of f plus f times del del z of a sub z plus uh, plus a sub z del del z of f. Now the trick here, and this is actually the main reason I'm trying to do this, what, what you might consider a trivial video is how do we spot symmetries? How do we, where do we go? Well, let's just pick any one of these. Let's pick, let's pick this one here. We have f del del y of a sub y. Now, so f, so what that seems to me is that we have f multiplied by something. So actually, I'm just going to have f outside of something so we don't confuse it with the cross product. Okay, so let's ignore the f part. So we have f multiplied by something. But the something, if we look in here, we have a y component multiplied by a y component. Okay? So what, what does that suggest? Well, it's, well, first of all, it's a scalar. So it suggests that we're after taking, you know, whatever we're doing is after giving it a scalar. But it seems to me that we're actually after taking the dot product between whatever, whatever will give us this del del y and a sub y. So in actual fact, what we're looking at here is the divergence of a. Or, yeah, the divergence of a. So this is the y component of the divergence of y, we'll say, if you want to put it that way. If you, want to, you, might, you might want to put it that way, okay? So what that suggests to me is that I need to group all these, these like terms. So how I do this is I factor out f. Let's look at all the terms which have f at the start. So del del x, a sub x, plus del del y, a sub y, plus del del z, a sub z, okay? And what we're left with on the other side is going to be um, a sub x del del x of f plus a sub y del del y of f plus a sub z del del z of f. Okay, so as we said a minute ago, what we seem to have here is f times the divergence of a. Now if you look over here, we have something similar. We have something similar. It looks like we can't take the divergence of f because f is a scalar. What, 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 what we can do is we take the gradient because it seems here a sub x, a sub y, and a sub z. So that we have some sort of a vector. Sorry. We have some sort of a vector field a because it has components. But we can't take the divergence of a scalar field. But we can take the gradient of a scalar field which will give us back a vector field. So it seems that that's what we have. Okay, and that's in, that is exactly what we do have. We have a dot the gradient of f. So just to just to complete it off, or to complete it, we say that the the 
dot product of the vector field made when you take you multiply the scalar f by the vector a is is the following. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel, and you might visit universityphysicstorials.com. Thanks.